Hi guys, welcome back to another video from Cichlid Bros. Last week we looked at the 75 gallon tank in our classroom here, which holds our male Jack Dempsey. Today we're showing the 29 gallon tank that is holding our Jack Dempsey Fry, and we're going to discuss how to breed Jack Dempseys. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing down below, and if you enjoy the content, consider hitting the like button as well, or leaving us a comment. And let's dive right in. So here we have our 29 gallon tank with Jack Dempsey Fry. We currently have nine of them, about six months old, along with a few giant Daniel Fry that are swimming at the top of the tank. We have an awesome Jack Dempsey in our 75 gallon tank next to this. However, these babies didn't actually come from him. We'll explain where these fry came from at the end of the video, so make sure to stick around for that. But if you're looking to breed Jack Dempsey's, it really isn't very difficult. We've seen it happen in pretty rough conditions like the tank we had before. If you're just starting out, try for a group of three to six, and once they have a pair form, try separating them from the full group. When identifying males and females, it's pretty easy once they're larger, but males will have pointed dorsal fins and no coloration on his gill plate below the line of dots below his eye, whereas females will have more rounded fins and more coloration on their gill plate. It will almost look like a blue beard. Once a pair is formed, the Jack Dempsey's will usually clear out a spot in the tank, which could be in the substrate or gravel or even on the glass. Once the pair is ready, the female will lay hundreds of eggs and the male will hover over them to fertilize. After two to three days, the eggs will start to hatch and you'll start seeing free swimmers within the first week. It's normal for the parents to be moving the nest around the tank just however they see fit. And typically the parents won't eat the babies but if you have any tank mates, that's definitely a concern that you should look out for. And sometimes it may take two to three spawns before the parents really get it right. So just be patient and you should see success eventually. We have footage here from Kaler's Aquatics, who recently filmed his Jack Dempsey's breeding. Bob was nice enough to share this with us, so if you haven't already, check out his channel. We'll leave that in the description below. He has a massive female, and she laid eggs in the back glass of the tank. The parents guarded this little nest from a few tank mates, and you can expect aggressive behavior from Jack Dempsey's anytime they're breeding. They had a ton of free swimmers that hatched after about two to three days. The parents kept them very close together and protected them aggressively. After about three weeks, they were already eating their parents' food and taking large pieces of bloodworms. Jack Dempsey's are really one of the easiest cichlids to breed once you have that pair. They find a way in some of the worst conditions, and if you're looking to breed them, we'd recommend a sizable tank of 55 gallons or larger, and just keeping good water parameters. And that's really all you need. Once a pair is mature enough to spawn, they likely will very soon. If you're trying to trigger a spawn, getting a clay pot or some decor to create a secure spot in the tank could help. You could also raise the tank temp a few degrees, but we really haven't found that necessary as they will likely breed soon anyway. We'd recommend keeping water parameters stable versus tinkering too much. The fry are easy to care for as well. They'll find small pieces of food throughout your tank so you could crush up flakes into fine pieces. They'll love baby brine shrimp, but if you need an alternative for that, something that's very easy, we'd recommend Smartemia from Cobalt Aquatics. We'll put a link to that in the description as well. We moved our fry out of the tank they were in after about three weeks so that their other tank mates couldn't pick them off. This is our group in a 10 gallon growing out about four months ago when they were about three to four weeks old. We've since moved them into our 29 gallon tank to continue growing out. Our plan is to keep one of them for the bigger tank that's coming soon and we'll likely give the rest to a local fish store in the next few months. 
Electric Blue Jack Dempsey's are selectively bred with the blue gene and you can tell the difference at a very young age. Electric Blue Fry are usually much weaker so it's a challenge to breed. Normal Jack Dempsey's are very hardy so you shouldn't have much trouble there. Jack Dempsey's are usually great parents and will protect their fry at all costs and become very aggressive towards tank mates. So if it's possible, we'd recommend separating the pair from others. And you may also want to separate the male and female if they're too rough with each other and they're still figuring out that parenthood. Sometimes tank mates actually give the parents a focus to protect the fry versus directing that aggression towards each other. Just be sure to monitor the situation and move fish out or put up dividers if things get too rough. And lastly, we want to show you how we got these 9 Jack Dempsey Fry. We have a friend that mentioned they had a tank of Jack Dempsey's and that he needed help with the maintenance. I went over to clean this tank right here, which was clearly too small for this many Jack Dempsey's. We put the Jack Dempsey's in a temporary tank as we deep cleaned around this big background, and that's when we noticed the fry. We scooped these guys out and put in a separate tank, as they would have been eaten shortly by all the other Jack Dempsey's. After the tank was clean, we helped to relocate some of these fish to better homes and now only a pair remains in that 45 gallon tank. So in a way, we did rescue these fry. As mentioned, we plan on keeping one of these long term and giving away the rest to a local fish store. Overall, it's been a very rewarding experience just seeing these guys grow, and breeding fish is one of the more exciting things in the hobby for us. Definitely recommend trying it out if you have a sizable tank and you have the means to do so. We hope you found this helpful, and as always, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. We really appreciate your support. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.